Hello, all my beautiful cancer peeps and cross watchers alike. Welcome, my soul squad. I know you guys are here supporting your girl, Queen of Swords. If this is your new, if you're new to my channel and this is your first time being here, I'm Carrie, Queen of Swords, and this is my lovely castle. Welcome, welcome. Here we like to sit around and uh, I serve up some hot tea, Ruth. Truth, that's right. You know, because I am the Queen of Swords. So, if you have yourself a seat, we're going to figure out what kind of bullshit you might have going on in your life. Cancer, what you got going on? I know we all got a little bullshit, especially here in Texas. Come on, we got a lot of bullshit here. <laughs> so, anyway, today this is called the Bullshit Detector Spread. And what we're going to do, it's a four-card draw. The first card is going to be the problem. Whatever your problem is, Cancer. What's the problem, man? Huh? What's going on? Okay. And then the second card I'm going to draw is going to be, what's the lie? Hmm? What's the bullshit again? What is that? Yeah, yeah. We're going to call out the bullshit on the second card. Okay. Third card is going to be the truth. Yeah. That's what I said. The truth. And the truth is going to be something either you do not know or um, something that the divine just wants to bring back to your attention in this situation, okay? No judgment. We don't judge here. So then, fourth and final card is going to be solution, possible solution. What is the solution to this situation? What is the solution to cancer's bullshit, okay? What kind of bullshit you got going on, right? So right now I'm going to cut the deck so that the divine knows we are asking for their divine intervention and guidance and insight into what the bullshit is with cancers. Here we go. Oh, divine creator, please. What is the problem here? Card number one for our cancer friends. What is the problem? Thank you. Hmm. Not of wands, huh? What is the lie? What is the lie cancers are dealing with right now? Please. Thank you. Okay. Now, card number three, the truth. What? Oh, my goodness. Hoppity. Hop, hop, hop. They were feeling froggy. Okay. Okay. And the solution divine. What is the solution here, please? What's the solution for our cancer friends? Thank you. Well, hello there, touchy feely. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start with these cards, and let's see, so the Knight of Wands reverse, that's your problem, okay, so right now you're not feeling like inspired to take action towards any passion, any kind of drive, any kind of um, desires that you may have had in the past. Maybe it's not necessarily that you don't want to take this inspired action. There may be blocks or delays here, okay? So that's just a little touching around what your problem might be, Cancer. All right. So then we go over here to the lie. And the lie that has something to do with this situation you're in right now, this problem you're in, is that you are in the Nine of Pentacles. You're fine. You're fine being by yourself. You got you, boo, right? You're like, I make my own money. I have my own home. I am stable mentally, emotionally, financially. You know, I got me. But are you happy, though? Because it's supposed to be going to the Ten of Pentacles. So is this lie about you being happy in this certain situation, in this single mama energy? Okay? Or what? Hmm, we shall look into this. Okay. So card number three is the truth. Oh, wow. There was a near tower moment that just happened in your life. And this can be anything that's chaotic, anything that really, you know, takes your life and kind of shakes it all up all of a sudden. And then you're like, oh, left to build the pieces back up. But it was like a near miss for a tower of some sort. And you, it left you feeling really betrayed and backstabbed. And you are now, oh, excuse me, I'm channeling. You are now coming out of that energy. There we go. Come on out of it. Even though you've been stabbed with nine, ten swords all up in the back, you're walking up out of it. Okay? You're starting to move out of the energy of this betrayal and this hurt and this pain. Alright? Just now. 
So to the outside world, the lie could be, hey, I'm fine, I got me, I, you know, I'm single mama doing my thing, uh, I make my own money, I got me. When really, you feel like you just nearly missed this horrible catastrophic event in your life um, that really was thrown in there, you know, divinely timed so that you could tear down these structures and these old toxic habits or behaviors or ways of thinking that are negative, you know, all of those things that no longer serve us, right? And it could have been shaken up and torn down due to some kind of betrayal that happened recently, okay? That left you looking like, hey, no, I'm fine, when really you don't even want to do anything. You have no passion or drive or any motivation to do anything right now to move forward or you're just seeing delays in your movement forward. Hmm. All right, so the solution here is to no longer give in to your weaknesses when it, you know, your weak toxic behaviors, like you're weak to these toxic behaviors or some kind of something toxic in your life right now. With this devil card, it means like two people are chained up and, you know, they're able to break free if they want to because the chains are barely around their neck on the Rider weight tarot deck. This one here, it shows this, um, this fellow with a lot of beautiful hair, kind of like Fabio, and it's going out everywhere and he just looks like appealing, like attractive, like holding that hand out like, here, come, this will relieve your pain. This will help you be courageous. This will give you strength, but really it's something you need to step away from. Something that may have made this near tower moment and the feeling of betrayal here. So let's get in further into this uh, cancer. This sounds pretty deep. All right. Oh, Devon, please tell us about this Knight of Wands reverse, please. Thank you. Oh, something that is like your wish come true something that is your desire that you want to do but you you have no passion no drive for it right now maybe this is you needing to heal you know this is a card of healing and restoration okay the star card it can be aquarius energy here what else please what else spirit thank you and it has to do with A decision that was extremely hard for you to make, but see, it's in the reverse. You went ahead and made that decision. And it was about something that was very dishonest here, or some kind of no communication, no, um, there's no way to communicate, I'm feeling, for some of y'all. So you had to make a decision. You had to cut this off. You had to move in the direction that was best for you. Anything else, Spirit? this problem please thank you having to do okay so yeah not any whole story okay so this has something to do you did not receive okay you got the one the ace of swords the two of swords but where's the three of swords because it skips to the four of swords where you're healing from some kind of heartache. The Eight of Swords reverse, which means that you were in some type of mental anguish or trapped up in your head about this or um, maybe even feeling ashamed or guilty or like uh, couldn't quit thinking about a certain situation, but there is no... Hmm. And this has to do with like a celebration or a big milestone in the family that's being celebrated, maybe being marriage, commitment. But then here you are, you are again in the Nine of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. And then something came to an end. And it had to do with the being in the Nine of Pentacles energy. But you see, what I'm looking at here is that... Okay, 
you're healing from heartbreak energy but there is no heartbreak showing up in the cards it's just a decision you had to make and it was a there was some dishonesty with all this caught up in your head but only you can bring yourself out of this energy no one else knows what it's about but it's in relation to a commitment or marriage of some sort maybe a fiance where you still were acting single see that's where the lie comes in and it brought a completion to something nine of pentacles here in the lie let's get further into this please i could be wrong okay please spirit oh, there it is the lie was you were single and this caused heartbreak and the five of cups energy where you are looking at three cups that spilled so you aren't able to see the two that are behind you so looking back into the past and regretting something here but not necessarily um reaching out to anyone right now and i don't want this to be a card of like super super loneliness because the hermit reversed it can be like you're completely isolating yourself from friends and family or anyone at this time and that is not the time to do this okay especially if you're here cancer okay reach out to those that are close to you and stop looking at these cups here that spilled in front of you but anyway this is what this nine of pentacles caused it caused some kind of heartbreak i don't know if it was like I feel intuitively that this is something to do with someone who wasn't a commitment. It could be you or your partner. Roles can be reversed. You know, this is energy, so it's fluid, right? But it was where one was lying about being single, okay, and got caught up in their head about it. It caused an ending of some sort, which looks like heartbreak and having someone look back in the past as like, I, I wish it could be different. Like, I, could, I wish I could go back and change the past to the point where they're isolating themselves or maybe they're having difficulty really looking within and doing retrospection on the situation and introspection within themselves, okay? Because the hermit's about someone very wise that is, like, guiding you and leading you to, um, to really spend that time in solitude so that you know who you are. And you know what your spirit and your soul wants. And you know what, you know, you can just sit there and connect to the divine and really get to know yourself better during times like this when we need to learn the lessons, yeah? Okay. So, see why there was a near tower moment and it felt a feeling of betrayal here in the truth. Tell me more about this hermit, though, please. And the three of swords here. It was about the Divine Masculine here. The Emperor could be an Aries. But this is someone, and he's sitting upright, so it could be someone that's very just and loyal and authoritative, but takes control of the situation, you know, in a very kind, loving, fatherly almost type manner. Could be someone's father here. Okay. Tell me more spirit about the truth here. What else? Anything else? Thank you. Nothing else? Okay. So here in the truth, you have the tower in reverse. It's like a near tower moment where you're barely skimming by your, your nose hairs to avoid some kind of disaster. And it was a disaster that left someone here feeling very betrayed and very backstabbed, but they are now coming out of that, knowing, seeing there's a light at the end of the tunnel, that there is a way to move past this type of pain, heartache, heartbreak, um, and loss of love, or whatever this situation is for you. But I see that the truth is there was an offer of love coming in because this is the knight of cups and he's carrying this little cup of love all right and it comes in pretty quickly um a message of love like would you like my cup of love love <laughs> you know and then there was um 
there was judgment about this that came in fast and hot and ready uh, could have been online even for some of y'all but there could have been delays in this beginning of this this passionate beginning the start to an or a new inspiration for a beginning of um, something that you desire or are creating okay this could have been someone was not able to travel towards their desire and passion and then it caused near tower moment feelings of betrayal truth is there was an offer of love which caused a lot of judgment or someone had to come to terms with who they were inside and be ready for that judgment which then there were blocks and delays and some type of new beginning to a passion or a desire maybe this cup of love okay but this situation in itself is what caused the near tower moment and the feelings of betrayal in which it's making you need to be strong against these toxic behaviors and patterns that you've had. Okay, tell me more, Spirit, please, about this Ace of Wands. What is this Ace of Wands here? King of Pentacles. All right. So there was an offer of love. I'm getting an offer of love without judgment coming through. But there were blocks towards this new inspired action and desire for this King of Pentacles, possibly, which caused the Tower in Reverse and the um, Ten of Swords reversed. Tell me more, please, about the strength and the solution and the devil. Thank you. All right. All right, folks. Let's see. So you were weak at, I mean, you felt like you were losing some of your strength when it came to defending yourself after this situation here. And it caused a lot of discontentment in your love life, in your relationship, your current relationship you had, all due to the hot desires of Empress, the Divine Feminine. This could be um, desires to create, desires to love and be loved. And it, it really looks like that's why you have to uh, or had to possibly think about stepping away from this situation and actually completing this uh, cycle here. You know, ending this. Looks like it became pretty toxic. So, anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Thank you. Yeah, it had to do with something that was hidden and some kind of desire and action taken towards um, love, I do believe. But, I don't know. Only you do my cancers. So, my Cancerians, let's go ahead and get you a few oracle cards, okay? Since we called out some bullshit, sounds like some heavy story, and I will be sending love and light and prayers your way. I know that healing takes a lot, and, you know, building a relationship in love takes a lot. And sometimes it's not, don't, it's not, it doesn't take as much to just kind of ruin it, you know, and unintentionally. 1919 on the clock, angel numbers. All right, Devon, what do you have to tell my little sweet cancers? My little cancer peeps, babe, babe. Battle of the blues, baby. Don't we know it with your cards right now, okay? The divine is wanting to tell you to take steps towards positive change in your life. You know, we can't always see what these big tower moments and our walls being shaken and crumbled at the time means. But those lessons that we go through, that yucky, yucky healing that we 
force ourselves to, to do half the time, you know, is really what makes positive change in our life. Because without releasing that negative energy, we can't receive that positive that the divine has for us, right? So battles of, battle of the blues. And my heart goes out to you, my cancer friends. Okay? But it's also saying memories. Cherish those memories of loved ones. And, you know, this was a really hard card for me just the other day because, you know, I've been going through some similar things in the recent past. And it said, cherish memories of loved ones. And I thought, you know, I still love this person. And even though I think of them, it hurts me. But it, it came back to my mind, <laughs> this certain little card. It has like a little cherub angel. She's a beautiful little girl here. And um, it says, cherish memories of loved ones even those that have hurt us, because that's never truly our intention with each other, right? If you come in it with good intentions, you can still cherish those good memories. And then last but not least, it says, take a leap of faith. Okay? So what the divine wants to tell you is to battle those blues by taking positive steps forward in your life right now, okay, towards those positive changes. And then also the memories that you have, try to cherish those good memories because those are love, those are light, right? Okay, and then take a leap of faith right now. You never know why these walls are being shaken or torn down and you're just like, no, I don't want to let go, I'm so, I'm so used to this. But sometimes we need to be shaken out of complacency, baby, okay? I love you all, my little Cancerians. Ah, oh, so peace, love, light to you all. Queen of Swords is out, bitches. <laughs>